Well, it's day 75. I'm at Dick's Dome Shelter. And this is the new shelter they're building here. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big shelter. There's plenty of space, like, right behind it on a fire road to tent. The shelter itself is going to be ginormous. Looks like it'll have a like a cooking platform. Hopefully two stories. Yeah. This tiny little shelter is Dick's Dome. There's somebody sleeping in it, otherwise I'd go video. But it's just like a little gazebo. <sighs> I should have sound the register while I'm here. <sighs> like I said, day 75. Don't know what the weather's supposed to be. Hope it's cool because I got the roller coaster today. Uh, I'm only going to do like 10 miles of it. Because <clears throat> I have to go into Bearsden Hostel, which is 18 miles away. And that's like three miles shy of the end of the roller coaster. So, it's hard to get this like good angle. But anyway, 18 miles a day. Not too bad. And then uh, Barry's doing tonight, shower, laundry, etc. Upload some videos. Uh, not a good way to hold this anymore. It's really it. They stole shelter last night, tented there. The new shelter they're building behind it's going to be awesome. It's not done until next year, hopefully. Uh, oh yeah, if you're heading northbound and you get to the, you're going to plan on staying at Dick's Dome, keep going past the shelter trail, it's like two tents, and then uh, head down the fire road to your right, trail east, it'll take you out right behind the new shelter, you get to the tent spots faster. It's an easier walk. Oh, whatever, I'll just hold the way out here. It's an easier walk. Definitely the way to go in and out. We're heading southbound. Well, I just got past the road, so I don't know what's up this way to tell you. To turn into it after. Just so you know you're getting close. <sighs> well, up to Bear's Den, hostel. Hopefully, the roller coaster's not rocky. I don't mind it if it's, you know, dirt. But if it's rock, that would be no fun. A little bit of rocks I can handle. But it's the rocks that are bending my foot funny. You know, just making it hard to walk at a steady stride. Those are the ones I don't like. Like the ones I'm getting ready to go through. Whatever. Anyway. I'm gonna start hiking while it's not hot. I'm already starting to sweat. I can't imagine when July hits. It's gonna be miserable out here. Oh well. Just rolled through Sky Meadows State Park. Uh, my phone's been dead. It's been in my pack on charge. So, forgot to charge it last night. Good thing I'm hitting the hostel tonight because my battery pack is completely dead. I'm down to like 75% on my phone after the charge. 
Yeah, or whatever. Uh, just sky meadows, bunch of trails. There are big grassy fields at the top of the hills, on some hills. And I'm glad I'm not going through there in the early afternoon when it's super hot. Because it would be miserable. It was already warm. You know, here, like eight something in the morning. So I can only imagine how it is in, you know, the heat there. Oh, look, some weird looking bog bridges. Mm, I'm trying to get a picture. These bridges are so much nicer than walking across the bog itself. And then, uh, getting across US 50717, I believe, is the highway. And I think this is the start to the roller coaster. 13 miles of ascents and descents. Luckily, I'm stopping short at Bears Den Hostel. I might not be starting a roller coaster right here. It might be a few more miles ahead. I don't really know. But <clears throat> luckily, the water's plentiful through the roller coaster. It's only got to carry about a liter to get me between water sources. So I'll take it. There's a stone wall. Neato. More bog bridges. Like the board's bow in the middle. <clears throat> it's really weird to walk on when you're walking between, like on the edge of two boards. It's like one board will bow and the other one won't bow as much. Anyway. Yeah, you can hear the highway. Nice little bridge. A little stone wall and a waterfall that way. Today, uh, from Dick's Dome Shelter, to here at least, the terrain's been very easy. A little bit of rocks, enough to just slow me down. And then, uh, it's been rolling hills. I'm looking forward to after the roller coaster. It starts to keep rolling hills. So that'll be nice. Oh, coming up on a sign. What does the sign say? Notice. Hopefully that's not backwards. Hmm. I don't know how it does on the camera, but I'm pretty sure this is the boundary for Scout Meadows, north boundary. I'm not really sure. Oh, and I get to cross the stone wall. Aha, Bears in Hostel, 13-5. Here's the stone wall. Anyway, I'm gonna put my phone away so I can cross the road without dying. Here's the highway with John S. Mosby. For, it's like US 70517. And it's pretty foggy today, actually. Well, up in the mountaintops. It's probably gonna rain. I'm standing at the north edge of the highway because I just crossed it. Anyway, still going. Just past the Fisher's Loop Trail intersection, which means I'm officially starting the roller coaster. 13 and a half miles of tightly packed ascents and descents. Yay. Luckily, I'm only doing like nine and a half. Or something 
I'm stopping at Bear's Den. It was 9.8 or 9.9. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hopefully you can read that. Anyway. I'm only doing like nine and a half of it today. And then I'll stay at uh, Bears and Hostel and then do the other little bit tomorrow. Should be fun. That's pretty much how my day's been since I got on the roller coaster. Tons of rocks. Not all huge like this, but a lot of rocks in the trail. Just past some southbounders. So that it does clear up and it starts to become dirt soon. So that'll be nice. And they said, but after Bear's Den, it's nothing but that till I get out. So, yeah. been a rocky day. Hopefully I was able to get some miles done early. Before it got hot. And now I'm doing a roller coaster in the heat. Oh well. It's on the roller coaster. And uh came up on this stone wall. I'm heading south now, but it's square, rectangular. It's hard to see, but there's a wall, there's a corner here, runs over, and through the trees you can kind of see over there the wall. And there's another angled section right here. It's like this was a building maybe? I don't know. There's something neat that most people probably don't even notice. It's just, oh, it's another wall. But, could have been more. I'm on top Buzzard Hill, a little lizard. Anyway, on top Buzzard Hill. Let's try to see if there's a view up here. There's plenty of camping up here. No water. This would be a good spot for a hammock between these two trees. Ooh. Wake up to this. I could deal with that. Whew. Uh. That's a good view. Those are thick trees. Can't see anything man-made. Except way over there. Just barely. There might be a radio tower or something right there. Anyway. Buzzard Hill. Tons of camp spots up here. This was a little side trail. AT's down here. It wasn't blue blazed, but you can tell where it is. All right, well, I'm gonna push this next shelter so I can take a few minutes there, relax, Ugh, relax, and then uh, air my feet out again. Cause I'm only like a mile from it, maybe. So, what? No, I'm walking along. Just left the shelter a minute ago. Well, probably 15 minutes ago. And look at that. The big 1,000. I'm in four digits. It feels really good. To be over 1,000 miles. I have less than 1,200 to go. Yes. 
So, yeah, I don't know if that sounds accurate anyway. It's close. There should be a campsite at 1000.1 on top of this hill. This is just north of the Sam Moore shelter, I think is what it's called. Obviously, a mile 1000. Yeah. Trail looks like this. It's rocky and miserable. <sighs> yeah. I did pass a guy heading south who's doing trail maintenance. He's just fixing loose rock steps and stuff. Anyway, they hit a thousand. It feels good. I think thousand was actually a little further back. Because the campsite's right here. This would be the campsite. It's nice. But honestly, you're better off just to stay in the shelter area. Tons of flat space. And the water's right there. You don't have to walk downhill for it. Unless you just want the peace and quiet up here. Which I wouldn't blame you. A thousand miles. That's crazy. I've walked a thousand miles. Anyway, I'm going to Bear's Den. I'm going to celebrate. Pizza, ice cream, and all I can eat pancakes in the morning. Whew. There's my treat for a thousand miles. Wait to see what I do for the midway point. Spout Run Ravine. There's a hiker hiding over there. Let's see if you can find him. Oops. Bears in Hostel is a huge wall. Oh, yeah, I kind of just skipped the overlook. I'll get it tomorrow. It's a big stone wall. There's their parking area. And here's the hostel. I'm gonna go get checked in and eat something because I'm starving. The famous Bears Den Hostel. I think today's day 75 or 76. I don't know. I have to look. Nice big stone building. Tons of grounds. There's a fire pit over there. Camping over there. The hostel entrance is right here. A little step with the rugs. Hostel inside is real nice. There's a bunch of people still in there. Uh, 30 bucks got you. Pizza, pint of ice cream, soda, shower, laundry, and a bunk. There's two, four, six, eight, like at least like 15 bunks. So some upstairs I didn't even check out. And uh, at thirty dollars, also got you all you can eat pancakes. Got to make them yourself, but they're really good. Totally worth it. There's the massive stone walls, which are really cool. I don't even want to know how much effort it was to put these up. But anyway, my pack is super light. I'm getting back out. Like, my pack is light enough where I don't think anything's on. Like, actually in there. It feels really good today. There's their parking again. I'm trying to get going because I got 22 miles into Harper's Ferry. But anyway, I'll check out the Bears Den Overlook. <clears throat> anyway, to get to Bears Den, when you come north, that's looking south, you're going to come up at the top and you'll see the Bears Den Trail Center sign. 
Bears Den Rocks will be right here on your left. And then uh, you're just going to want to get up on this little gravel trail and follow it around. And you'll see the Bears Den Hostel on your left. It's the giant stone wall I showed you. But now we're going to check out the rocks. So I can get through here without getting spider webs in my eyes. Because I guess I'm the first on the trail today. Or at least first through here. I don't know how to get all the way over there without putting the phone down. Yeah. Tons of rocks. Be fun to drive through. Oh, spider web in my eye. Oh. Anyway, I gotta get going. I'm trying to get to the base of Harper's Ferry today. So I can get in Harper's Ferry early tomorrow morning. Spoiler, I'm taking a few days off. Uh, my plan is to head home for a few days. I'm going to let my feet heal up, going back and forth on the shoes like I did. Uh, caused my arches to start to hurt and in turn my ankles. So, well, I figured out how to get over here. Follow the AT. So, I'm going to take a few days and head home, relax, refit my gear, you know, do everything I need to to make sure I'm in good shape for the rest of the trail. It's a nice view. But anyway, make sure I'm good for the rest of the trail. One of my pairs of darn tough socks, they're like, ones that I started with, the dark green ones, they're, I don't, they say large, but they don't feel like a large. <clears throat> Just rolled my ankle. They don't feel like a large. Eh, we'll go see this view. Ugh. Totally worth it. Anyway, they don't feel like a large. They feel like a medium. So, I'm going to try and get those swapped out. Look at that gap. I just step right across it. Not bad. I don't want to drop my phone, though. All right, well, that's enough of the views. Anyway, I'm going to head home do all that nonsense and uh, what else was I going to say oh yeah a little rating on Bear's Den for the price it's very nice for the hiker special uh, I would definitely stop there even if you plan on taking a zero on Harper's Ferry uh, stopping at Bear's Den is worth it because of what you get for the money. $30, you know, assume an average bunk room's 20. So for $10, you're getting a pizza, a pint of ice cream, all you can eat pancakes and a soda. Shower and laundry included. Well, laundry's normally extra at a hostel. So for $10, you get large pizza, ice cream, It's a pint of Ben and Jerry, so it's actually good ice cream. Can of soda. And laundry. Oh, look, another path to the trail center. I guess if you head up there and take a right again. Actually, they don't, there's an AT sign in their center. So that might lead actually onto their property. Like right in their back door, basically. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I would stop in there again if I was through hiking again. I definitely recommend stopping in Bears Den Hostel.
Mm, let's see. And the owner is real cool. He wasn't going to open the store until 8 o'clock. Store, like, selling patches, sodas and stuff. Like, 8 to 9 in the morning for checkout. But I talked to him a little earlier. And at 7.30, he was able to sell me a patch. He just, because I guess he got his morning stuff done, like his morning chores. All I was getting was, like, a $4 patch. So, it was cool. Yeah. Sorry if the camera's shaky. I'm walking pretty fast where the terrain's not rocky. All right. That's it for now. Snickers Gap, Virginia 7 and 647, I believe. Maybe 649, I don't remember. The AT turns left here somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm gonna cross here. But it's a pretty busy road. I think I crossed, there's like a sign ahead of me, like a historical sign. I bet that's where I cross and then take a right up into the tree line. There's a white blaze on that tree. I was right. Now I gotta go that way. Let's hope I don't die. I'm putting my phone away for this. I'll probably have to run across. I made it. I didn't even have to run. I got lucky and there's a good break in traffic. I should be turning right here. And I think the trail will be back in here somewhere. Yep. That was Snickers Gap. Kind of a pain in the butt. But whatever. Let's see what the sign says. Uh, blah 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 blah. Man, nothing really important that I need to know about. But anyway, looks like I'm going uphill. I got like three and change left in the roller coaster. So that'll be fun. But the good news is, Virginia, West Virginia border for the first time. I'll be uh, taking technically my first trail steps into West Virginia. But right outside Parisburg at the Rice Field Shelter, I kind of snuck into West Virginia some. When I was watching the sunset and stuff, playing with the deer. It's a nice fence. It's not the best fence I've ever seen. Like, look at that. But, you know, for an AT, that's a nice fence. Ah. Anyway. I gotta do some roller coaster action. Hands up, screaming wee on the way down. Oh, happy day. And I just flirt with the border for a bunch. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm at Raven Rocks. Just north of Bearsden Hostel. Oh, that house. I'm completely jealous. Let's so zoom in on it. But look at what it looks over. Oh. That house gets to look over this. Insanely jealous. Oh, look, a tower. Oh, look. But I'm like three feet from the edge. Anyway, I'm going to keep going because it's hot out in the sun. I don't want to be out here in the sun. Because it's hot. Or at least I had a good view for a little bit. Some more rocks. Should be a campsite up here somewhere too. I just want to look at this rock here. Not bad. 
Anyway, keep going north. The end of the roller coaster. What? It was overrated in my opinion. The only reason I say that is because it was people hyped it up like it was harder. It was hard, but the whole little ascents and descents. There were only the max was like 600 feet elevation gain, and it really wasn't that bad because you got a break on the downhills and the tops, which were kind of flat on top. So it's not as bad as people say. I mean, it wasn't fun. It was like, you know, 13 and a half miles. Of ups and downs. But it wasn't too bad. It was rocky, though. At the beginning and at the end. The middle had some, but not much. Power line cut. Can't really see that way. Yeah, a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. Because... I got nothing else to do. I might even push into Harper's Ferry if I can get there about 4 o'clock, which I doubt. I don't know, we'll see how the terrain is. I'll probably just camp outside and relax and read tonight. And head in in the morning. Because I'll probably get there when the ATC is closed. Unless there's free camping in town somewhere, which would be better. Just have to check the book. Another wild and dangerous turtle. In his natural habitat of the Appalachian Trail. Oh, hey, little guy. I'm gonna leave you be. That's two. I think the sign's off. <clears throat> AWOL says it started back there. Well, ended back there. At the stream crossing. Maybe it was right here. But there's supposed to be a spring and a trailhead at the ending, according to AWOL. But I just climbed up. So I think they started that as the roller coaster as well. That last little ascent northbound. Which, you know, still a little bit left to go, maybe like five, ten feet of elevation. <sighs> Whatever. Now it's pretty much gently sloping. Maybe one or two climbs until I hit Harper's Ferry. Should be able to cover it pretty quick, as long as it's not too rocky. There's a neat little valley. It's like hard to tell with the sunlight, but there's like moss covered rocks over there on that hillside. There's like a natural stone wall over there. And the trail just goes to the middle of this little valley. We'll just call it a gap. That's realistically what it is. Whew. Anyway, yeah, off to Harper's Ferry I go. Well, here's one of the trails to the Blackburn Trail Center. It's uh, managed run by the ATC. Oh, look. But uh, it's 0.2 off trail, almost 0.3 according to that. And it's a I think it's by reservation only. Then it looks downhill. Nah. But I think it's reservation only. It's apparently really hard to get a reservation. I don't know. I'm not even going to go down there. I've got enough water. I can make it to the next shelter. It's only like 
three miles. So, anyway, on I go. Ooh. This is the intersectioning, the second trail, crossing to get to the Blackburn Trail Center. This is only point two. <clears throat> I'm not going, still. Shocking, I know. <sighs> I'd like to check it out, but it's really not that big of a deal. Two tents off trail. I'm thinking about pushing to Harper's Ferry tonight. There's only 12 more miles to the ATC. It's fairly flat, downhill. As long as it's not rocky, I think I can do it. I just got to be at the ATC before 5. Otherwise, I just wasted it. Uh, whatever. I'm going to keep going. Because I'm trying to move quick. It's the Laurel Springs Boardwalk. It's a weak spring. So, it's probably going to be dry in this heat that we've had. I can see the dirt around me is uh, not very dark colored, so odds are that it's dry. Ooh. But where do I get water? I'm not filtering out of that nasty thing. Oh, look at that beetle. Oh well. Oh, I see a little stone wall up here. <clears throat> I'm gonna look for some water. I've got enough, but I'd like to go ahead and fill up if I can. This is the David Lesser Memorial Shelter. It's really nice. For some reason, I never picked to stay in these nice shelters. Look at this. Benches, huge deck. Nice sleeping platform. Pack hooks. Even the privy was nice. Like the area's got a lot of flat spots down there for tents. It's not even far. Look at this. A covered picnic area with a porch swing. What? How come I can't stay at these places? Like really? Anyway, whatever. I even see a picnic table down by the spring. There's a camp pad down there. Which is like some 4x4s four in the ground with soft dirt in the center of it. There's multiple picnic tables. This is my luck. Anyway, whatever. It's still a nice shelter to hang out in for a break. I'm gonna go get water and take 10. Because I can. The David Lester shelter is incredibly nice. But the water source is like a quarter mile downhill. And then a quarter mile back up. Holy moly. <sighs> Focus tonight. That was a rough walk. Anyway, I'm taking a break now. And I'll keep going. Keys Gap. West Virginia, Virginia border. Virginia. West Virginia. I'm trying to take a picture of the sign. And I gotta head that way.
But anyway, gotta go. Mile marker 101.8, or no, 1018.3. Huh. That's a big power line cut. This is actually a really big one. <sighs> it's sunny and hot out in it. Neat how they plant shrubs here. They got mulch around them. That's how I know they're planted. Ugh. It's hot out here in the sun. It's only 140. So, I've got like four miles exactly. Yeah. 4.2 maybe to the actual ATC. <sighs> so, I should make it before 5 o'clock. <sighs> now, leave me. Leave me time to go over to Enterprise, rent my car, and then hit up the outfitter. Because I'm going home for a few days. Rest up my feet. I'm going to try and fit everything into my Arc Blast. Get them all my summer gear. Because I haven't used my Puffy in like two weeks. Not even as a pillow. So, I'm going to get all my summer gear. Probably go to my summer poncho liner instead of the down bag. I gotta see which is lighter and which pack's smaller. I've got a summer sleeping bag I can use too. But we'll figure it out. But if I could drop down to the Arc Blast, that'll save me about a pound and a half. Plus, getting rid of the down jackets, another pound. And a couple other things I want to rearrange. Anyway, I'm going to stop for a minute, drink some water, and then uh, keep going. Just south of Harper's Ferry, about a couple miles. Stone Wall. I just saw a fox. I was trying to get my camera out to video and it took off too fast. I know where it went in the woods, so hopefully it's still there. And that's the first time I've seen a fox in, in the wild. Hopefully video to come of it. No such luck on the fox. I lost it in this taller stuff. What? What can you do? Uh, let's see. Really nothing going on right now. I'm just walking looking for the fox. But it's probably gone for good. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Trying to get to Harper's Ferry. Yay! I'm sweaty, it's hot, I'm exhausted, but I'm getting closer. Thankfully. Ooh. Ah. Ow. That might be the West Virginia, Virginia border, I'm not sure. I don't really know. Ah. Usually there's a sign, but I think that sign gets stolen a lot. Anyway, I could be wrong because there's supposed to be a trail at the intersection, or at the uh, state border. So I'm probably wrong. I have been before. Ooh. Well, time to keep hiking. What do we have here? 
Eh, keys gap. Been there, done that. There's a blue blaze that way. And the AT goes down. But I'm going to take 10 minutes. Air my feet out. And get ready for the last little push. Whew. Yay. That's a dirt line. That's where my gators run. That's gross. And yes, my left ankle's a little swollen. That's why I'm taking a week off or so. But, you know, here's what it is. And, uh, the sign that I'm still sitting at. Virginia, West Virginia border. What, what? There's the London Heights Trail that way. Ugh, it's nice to sit for a little bit. Jeez, that's so... I can't wait to shower again. Usually when I get to camp, I'll take my bandana. And when I rinse it out, rinse all the sweat off, I'll... Uh, wash my legs and stuff. Oh well. Not a big deal. This ravine's like been running down the mountain next to the trail for the longest time. I wonder if it's like um, entrenchments like where they you know sit behind the berm in like a defensive position or if it's just an old like road but it really looks man-made because all the rocks are pushed to one side. Oh, and uh, for those of you that want to camp just outside Harper's Ferry like I initially planned to, except I made it here super early, there are flat spots. It is rocky, but I definitely think it's doable to tent here. There's no water here. I'm gonna reach a road crossing. I don't even know what road crossing. I'm gonna have to get out my book in a second. Anyway, uh, yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to camp in the park, but I haven't seen any no camping signs. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna check out the AWOL book real fast, see what I'm coming up on. West Virginia 32, Chestnut Hill Road. Uh, almost down into Harper's Ferry. I'm probably not going to spend a lot of time in Harper's Ferry today. Because I'm trying to get on the road. I just want to hit up the ATC. Maybe the Outfitter just to see what's up. And then uh, head over to Enterprise. Basically I'm just looking for a, you know, a free, really cheap... Uh, Shuttle over to Enterprise and probably just call them and have them pick me up. But whatever. I'll figure it out when I get there. Oh. Down I go some more. My plan was to camp on the ridge above me that's dropping down the Shenandoah River bridge, but you could camp here if you don't mind camping right next to the highway. Just you know, set up your tent on top of grass. There's even some, you know, not so bad spots right here. But the highway's right there. So you gotta be careful. I really wanna get down in the, in the river. Video to come of the river when I get walking across the bridge. Apparently I gotta go down these uh, very nice stone steps. They're not concrete, they're actually cut, like cut stone. And they're all stacked. These are really nice steps. I know it sounds kind of weird to say, but they're nice steps, what can I say, other than they are.
I'm under the bridge. I guess realistically, you could just cowboy camp right here if you don't mind the noise. I don't know if that's legal though. Ah, oh, so many steps. There's a good view of the water. You can kind of see a structure over there, straight across. Ah, oh. steps hurt. This is the Shenandoah River. I'll get some more video when I get up to the actually crossing the bridge. Oh, back to the Shen back to the Shenandoah River. There's a guy down there fishing. Help people sunbathing. Uh, it's supposed to be a good river for like uh, whitewater kayaking and tubing. I'd like to kayak it. There's people over there sitting. Anyway. So the, the Shenandoah River Bridge came out right there. And then you just follow the concrete. You see the white blazes. You're gonna come across the street if you don't get hit by a car. What is this? And you just keep going. Still in the sun, still hot. But at least I'm almost to the ATC. Well, this is where I get off for a few days. This is the side trail to the ATC. Of course, the AT's got one last trick for me. A bunch of steps. And this will be my first uh, steps back that direction when I start hiking again in a few days. About a week. Ooh. So, I got a couple of these nice steps. Uh, uh, so many steps. So many steps. It's hard on my knees. At least there's a bench. Video to follow. Trail came out right here. And more steps. Uh. So many steps. I don't even know what these buildings are. This one looks like a library. Or a school. That's pretty crazy. It's a neat little town. Shame I'm so sweaty and disgusting. Luckily when I come back through here in a few days, uh, I won't be so sweaty yet. And I'll have, I'll probably kill a day just hanging out. Uh, what does this sign say? Whew. Keep going. The ATC. Time to go inside.